Greetings Cosmos, and welcome back to Metroid Zero Mission. So, as you might notice today, you can actually see the entire screen. I noticed that uh, it wasn't showing the entire screen when I recorded full screen. And so, I actually managed to fix that. So, starting up my timer, time to go after Craig. Hmm. This can go down. I like how Zero Mission has actual indicators of where you can go down and or up. Rather than just expecting you to bomb everything. Also, of course, this and this. It was so annoying in the original Metroid not being able to shoot enemies that were one tile tall. Alright, I'm holding to the left. Okay. Huh, can't get up there. Hmm. Now you have to come in from above. Huh. Come on. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. So, how do I get over there? That is the question. Yeah, I think I need some way to enter morph ball form in order to uh, do that thing. Wait, what? Missile? Heck yeah, I'm missling my way through there. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting... Oh, I see. They they make those out of Morph Ball Bomb things to tell you to use the Morph Ball Bomb on top. Fascinating. And now I'm back at way earlier in the Crade Zone. Sheesh! Oh, hey. The presence of that sign is what told me that this existed, because I almost didn't see this. I mean, I can go this way, but... If, whoops. If I go this way instead, there's a map room. Sure, I accept this. I like the general non-linearity of this, of this game, like... Yes, I have to fight Kraid before I can do whatever the next thing is. It's not nonlinear in that sense, but there's multiple routes I can take through this area to get to Kraid. Take that. Alright. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Whoops. All right, so then, what I want to do then is set up a bomb here and a bomb here. Okay. Yes. No. 
so close and yet so far. Oops. Alright. No! Okay. I wonder if I need another power up before I can do this thing. Alright, I'll try it one more time. Okay. Okay, so I can just jump off whenever I feel like it. Excellent! Huh, I do need... I do need to make sure that I have all these frozen... Okay, so... What is over in this direction? Oh no! Huh. Okay, sure. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't want to go any further in here because I can't stand that acid for long. Alright, and off I go into here. Oh, nice! Heck yes, I want it. But I want this. Why? Alright. Enough messing around. Time to go after Craig. Let's see here. Hiya. There we go. Wait, did I even need to destroy? Whatever. Really? <sighs> so don't move after you drop the morph ball bomb. Or you'll be knocked slightly to the side. I do like that, that was programmed in. Because that's pretty cool. At the same time. Annoying. Oh. Oh, I see what they're doing there. Since I can't... Since I lack diffusion missiles. Alright, so... Off I go to down below. Whoops. Okay, well. Healing up. And... Okay. I want to take a slightly upper path. Oh, that was one thing that I despised about the original Metroid. The uh, fact that enemies could hit you while you were in a, doing a screen transition. I got killed by that so many times. And then when it and then when you load, you only have 30 health. No matter how many health tanks you have, never mind that your starting capacity is 99. And so you gotta spend a lot of time sitting on enemy spawners. Oh my. Oh no, these kinds of enemies. So, 
Something in my intestines tells me that I shall soon be acquiring a speed booster. Ah. Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh, thank goodness. Alright, so, moving through here, oh hey, oh wow, I did not expect that to die so easily. Hello Kraid. I'm used to fighting you when I have access to super missiles. Ah! Good job, me. Okay, so then. Okay. What am I doing? Okay. Ugh. Okay. I win. Barely. Look at how badly I performed in that. On the one hand, it's nice that you just outright show me that that's what's going on. On the other hand, I also like when I'm expected to just make the connection between, oh hey, this enemy had the same head as that uh, statue over there. Okay, so yes, speed booster. is my next power up. Run until speed boost begins to break certain blocks and damage enemies. But no details on a shine sparking, huh? On the one hand, I like that there are techniques... Oh, hey. That if you know how to use them, you'll be better off. And you just have them once you get certain power-ups. On the other hand, I also want the game to teach me about... Oh. I also want the game to teach me about these power-ups, or these new abilities and such. Oh, okay, I could just go through that. At some point, like... Ah! Does it teach you about Shine Sparking in this game? Or does it only teach you in Super Metroid? Because Super Metroid, I think, handles Shine Sparking, for example, perfectly. Oh. In that it's a secret technique that you have, but the game will teach you about it if you go exploring. Huh. I th I'm not totally certain, but I think in Metroid Fusion and Metroid Zero Mission, Shine Sparking is just a binary, you know it or you don't know it, without any way in-game to find out about it. And that's kind of upsetting. Oh. Ah. Oh.
All right. What, what? Okay, there was a reason to come out here. But I guess I didn't need Shine Spark to get out here. Oh no, oh no! Whew, I haven't saved since I beat that boss, so... I need to be more careful. I didn't realize that, that waterfall was gonna... drain my health. Alright, let's go this way first. Okay, well... Join me next time when I use the speed booster to escape from Kraid. Yeah, I'll see you then.